All right, folks, I'm back up here at the head just now. It's on a Sunday. Um, it's a beautiful, actually really warm day today. Um, it's actually forecast to be about 14 degrees. It actually feels a bit warmer than that just now. We've got a, a nice sort of warm, gentle, southerly uh, breeze coming up at the moment. And it's uh, got a few flies buzzing around just now. I'm just scanning the water at the moment because I'm just seeing if there's any, any fishies rising. I've seen a few rising over there. So I'm going to take a wee trek to what I call Easterhead Bay, which is a, one of my favourite parts of the loch. I can see a few rises over that way. So I'm going to fish a single dry fly today, a wee size 16 upright olive. Or I'm going to do um, either that or possibly get away with a wee hawthorn fly. Um, there are lots of terrestrials buzzing around just now. I'm going to fish with my eight foot uh, polyleader plus with literally just six foot of uh, five pound full and mill fluorocarbon and uh, just a single a single dry fly and I'm just going to focus over this bay over here I'm fishing Loch Barrowfoot possibly later on um, this is a loch that's to the right of me I'm not really seeing anything moving just now it, it's quite bright there's a wee bit of cloud cover but I'm grabbing beasties in my hand just now so there are lots of things coming off which is fantastic so um, yeah let's see if we can try and get a couple of fishes I know it's a bit bright and stuff but I've put sun cream on my fresh my freshly shaven head so uh the last time i don't know if i showed you this guys but i had a, a the pattern of this hat etched into my head for two months when i didn't put any sunscreen on so sunscreen on should i say so um anyway i'm, I'm rabbiting on let's get fishing i've just seen a fish rise over there now i've put on a little march brown comparadon style it's one of the things that gordy tied up for me I've already decreased my uh, fluoro with some uh, loon rubber mud. Love that stuff. And I've ginked up the wings of the fly. There are tons of little beasties flying about. So, uh, yeah. Well, maybe have a wee blast over here. Oh, look, there he is. There's another fish he's feeding in there. Let's intercept him. Crawling about like Rambo here. Keeping as low as I can, but I've just been watching him. He's been over there. Let's see if I can get my fly off. Three times I've seen him come up there, so just got to be careful because there's a lot of a lot of weeds here. Let's see if I can just. Get down here a little bit. I'm bending right down low here. Oh, there he is. See it there. What a big one. See if I can get, get my fly to turn. Right, see if I can just leave it there. Let's see. Let's see if you see. Oh. There we go, there we go, there we go, perfect response Ross. Now he's in that zone. Excellent, you see that lip come up for it? Perfect. That's the perfect response. I'd expect from a wee fishy. Right, I better go down here. Sort out my slack line. It's lying about here. Right, I'll just keep the pressure on him just now. Right. Oop. There we go. Right. Not a huge fishy, but I did see him rising. Just while I get my slack line in. Get my slack line up first. At least that way. I'm not hankering about with it. There we go. Right. See if we can step in the water ever so gently. There we go. A bit more control now, Ross. Get my net. So I'd seen him rising for three, uh, probably four times I'd seen him. And casted little Gordy's. Oi! What a lovely chunky fish. Casted Gordy's. March Brown Comparadon fly there. And uh, 
got them on first cast or first proper cast laid down right let's keep your head up mate oh it's a lovely fish he's wrapped himself around the thing there we go <laughs> brilliant stuff let's get him back in a minute right, i'll just wait him in the net pound and a half on the nose let's see if i can see if i can show them to you guys lovely Oh, hey, look at that. Pound and a half. On the money. Slender, but that was on the that was on the little March Brown. I'll get him uh, get him returned. Just let him recover. I'll just give him a couple of minutes just to give him a couple of minutes just to chill out in the net there. That was perfect. That was the fish I'd seen rising. Fantastic. Right. Right. Let's get Mr. Shrouty back home. He's had a few minutes to chill out in the net there. He's going to go off strong. Look. Off he goes. Oh, hello. That was literally five minutes. I'd seen him rising a couple of times here. Casted Gordy's fly, perfect head and tail. I think we got the take on camera as well. I'm not even fishing five minutes. Pound and a half. Slender, but pound and a half nonetheless. Ooh. Right, well I've uh, taken a wee wander over to this other little lock called Easterhead. Uh, it can hold some nice fish. I haven't fished it so far at the start of the season, so uh, We'll give it a blast. I'm not exactly seeing anything rising, but over along the shoreline can be quite good. So we'll see. Oh, I think I saw something. Yeah, we're going to have a blast and see what like. Well, I just seen a fish just next to my fly there. I'm going to let the wind take it. It's a really subtle rise. It was a nice little rise though. I'm just gonna drive a little. I've got a size 14. Boom, stick it there. It wasn't far out at all. Try that fly off a bit. Gently stick it there. There we go. Right, I just seen a fishy rise about here. wasn't far out at all. There he goes, Emerald. There we go. Beautiful. That's where I saw him. Oh, hey. Now, this is a very light wire hook that I've got going on here, so I can't really give it too much pressure. Whoa! Because these light wire hooks can bend straight away. So I'll keep enough pressure on him to keep him on, but if he wants to go and do something, I'll let him. Because I don't want to, oh, oh, I do not want to have that hook bent on me there. That's just where I saw him rising before. Brilliant. Feels like a good fish. Where's he gone? Oh, there he is. Right. right, just hold him there a second and get my, my net at the ready. Right, I'll go down low here. I'll go down low. There we go. Let's see if we can get his head up. That's be fishy. Oh. 
just gonna tire them out a little bit because like I say this this hook is a very light wire hook so I don't want to give the fish too much stick. Right. Oh lovely trout. Beautiful fish. Oi, whoa. That's a lot when they jump like that. Oof. Next waiting here in the water for you boy. Right, come on. But Whoa, 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 whoa. Bit of weeds about you. Come here. Oh, a lovely fish. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Look at that. <laughs> yes, sir. Let's get you unhooked and back. Flies out the fish. This is a good fish, actually, guys. He's actually in good condition. He's actually quite fat. There's a mixture of fat ones and thin ones in here, but... I'm going to get him weighed in a minute, but I'm just going to let him recover, but he's deep. Look at that. Look at that for a fish. Gorgeous fish, look at that. Beautiful. Get you back in here just now, just to let you breathe. Um, this fish is a cracker for a hill lock fish, especially on this lock as well. Um, as you saw, he came up when he took the, the dry fly. And he's sitting in my neck, just breathing away. He's lovely. Sitting there just now. Fat for this time of year, a pound and three quarters. Um, that's what my scales come up with. So we'll see if we can get him out of the net and show you. Look at that for a trout. Pound and three quarters, boy. Cracking fish. <laughs> right, Mr. Pound and three quarters. Look at that tail on him. Cracking fish. Absolute belter. Let's see if we can get your head up. Come back out, mate. There he goes. Excellent. I'm in stocking mode, there was a fish just near where I put my fly. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. wait. Whoa. Um, holy crap. Oh, don't you come off. Oh. Let's get in the water here, Ross. He's going in about that rock. Oh, I've seen that fish rise in there. And two seconds after that fish had. Oh, God, where is he? Two seconds after I cast that fly after he rose, he nabbed it. So that's three fish I've seen. Three fish I've cast to, three fish I've hooked. And, well, this will be my third one, hopefully, if I get in. But. Oof, strong. I'm going to title this video, I'm going to dedicate this video to my mate Gordy and his most excellent dry flies. Oh, it's strong. Look, it's gone again. Oof. How are you doing, dude? came off bogger oh that was a nice fish too oh no oh i can't complain i've had a nice bloody fish before a pound and three quarters oh but nobody likes losing fish guys let's be honest with you i hate losing fish especially up here oh <laughs> shite Pardon my French. Well, folks, that's the end of this session. I only managed two fish and one lost. I mean, it, it wasn't a, a long session. I only wanted to come out for a couple of hours, and it was nice to get those fishies. A shame that I lost the third one, but uh, you kind of catch them all. Um, I've got to pack up and go home and chill out. So, guys, if you like this video, or you're new to this video, should I say, please uh, hit that wee like and subscribe. I sure would appreciate that since I'm trying to grow this channel. 
and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Hopefully get a new video out for next week for you guys. So uh, until the next one, cheers for now. <laughs>